Hello, my name is Matthew Peterson, and I'm going to be a senior at Highland High School. And uh, I was in the science internship program this uh, summer, and I worked in the gastroenterology department with uh, Dr. Gutman. And the title of my project is Patient Characteristics Affecting Conscious Sedation During Endoscopy. First off, this experiment was done with the help of Dr. Gutman, my mentor, and Teresa Rowe, my co-mentor. Here's a quick background on endoscopy. Endoscopy procedures are used to diagnose upper and lower GI abnormalities or diseases. These procedures can involve a type of sedation called procedural sedation or previously known as conscious sedation. This is preferred as at the Worcester Family Health Center because it does not require the time of an anesthesiologist. During this sedative state, patients are responsive to commands and pain. This helps with the doctors know if they are rubbing or tearing at the GI tract. The commonly used sedatives at the FHC in Worcester are Demerol and Versed. The main goals of conscious sedation are to have amnesia of the event, to maintain stable functions of the heart and lungs, and to give the patient some pain relief. Different endoscopy procedures require different amounts of medication due to difficulties. Not only does the type of procedure affect the amount of medication given, but there are also many other commonly assumed factors. This includes weight, age, and if there are if they are taking any of the following drugs, nicotine, alcohol, benzodiazepines, or opiates. The main goal of this experiment is to determine if any of the above assumptions are true. Uh, the methodology of this experiment is classified as a blind retrospective chart review. Patients were chosen from a certain time period of December 2010 to June 2011. The procedures included in this experiment included upper GI scopes and colonoscopies. Patients excluded involved insufficient information, flexible sigmoidoscopies, any other medication except Demerol and Versed, if a counter sedative or if, any, if airway manipulation was needed. The flexible sigmoidoscopies were excluded because they did not require any sedative. Uh, some more methodology is... The information collected for this experiment came from the endoscopy reports, histories, and physicals of the patient. The information needed was the patient's age, gender, weight, BMI, total amount of Versed, total amount of Demerol, and the level of consciousness or LOC of the patient during the procedure, if airway manipulation or counter sedatives were needed, and lastly, their drug use history. This chart demonstrates that the group of patients in this experiment created two almost identical counterpart groups of smokers and non-smokers. This greatly helped the comparison of the average total Demerol given to them with the least amount of variability. At the end of the chart review, the data was inputted into Excel and compared with standard error bars. As the last chart showed, the smoker group and non-smoker groups were almost identical and this chart demonstrates that the smokers may have required more medicine, but it, it is such a small amount, about 3%, that it can be considered negligible. Other observations made were that alcohol users, near, alcohol users near the date of procedure required more along with those that take the form of opiates or benzodiazepines, which the changes were greater than 5%. Another conclusion drawn from the data included that both males and females averaged 74 milligrams of Demerol. But as the weight was taken out of the interpretation, it was noticed that females required a higher dose of Demerol for each kilogram of body weight. An example of this would be if there was an 80 kilogram male and an 80 kilogram female, the 80 kilogram female would require more medicine. Age is only a factor is the only factor that had any significant change in the amount of Versed given. Again, standard error bars are used to compare the data. This chart also shows changes in the amount of Demerol given. They both read the same. As the patient age increases, the less medicine is needed. Elderly patients required about 80% the medication of other, adult, of other adults, contradicting previous articles. 
This BMI graph shows that when an adult is underweight, they require less medicine than one that is healthy and so on. Weight couldn't necessarily be compared because a at a certain weight, there can be patients who are healthy and others who are obese. Some discussion on the topic is there are a few things that could have made this project better. If I was more knowledgeable of statistics, I would run ANOVA tests to better determine the significance of the graphs. Also, if there was a larger sample size, the variables would work themselves out as factors. Lastly, during pre-experimental observations, it was noticed that anxious patients were much harder to sedate than calm patients. Since there was no clear way in measuring anxiety, it was excluded from the experiment. This experiment brought many conclusions. The dose of Versed had little change from the factors, and this was only based on the age of the patient. Demerol, on the other hand, was affected by a majority of the factors. Drug use was most surprising to this experiment. Nicotine and benzodiazepines did not follow the hypothesis in articles. Nicotine had, only, had no effects on the drugs, and benzodiazepines only affected Demerol when it was suggested to affect Versed. This was assumed because Versed is a benzodiazepine. There's resources, and I'd like to say thank you to my mentor, Dr. Gutman, for, and my co-mentor, Teresa Rowe, for helping me out because they helped me along and uh, helped me produce this great work. And my peer mentor, Michael Ransky, to keeping all of us interns on track. And also my co-researcher, Casey Patika, to help me through the research and uh, also keep me on track. Uh, the Office of Civic, Civic Education Initiatives for giving me this opportunity to research this summer with the Cleveland Clinic. And also Rosalind Strickland and Nedra Starling. Thank you.